Ho, ho, ho. What's up, everybody? Hey. 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 We're live. What's up? It's Thursday night. You guys know what that means. It is nearly playtime. Y'all doing okay? This is, this is a Christmas show. Thursdays are for Nas. It's true. Thursday has arrived. It is another Thursday with you all. Do you realize that we've done almost 150 episodes in 2022? I think we've put out more episodes this year than any other year that we've been running shows. This has been absolutely the busiest year for NAW. And honestly, I thought we were going down. I didn't think we were getting new people that would be interested, but here we are. We had day butts last night. We got new people in chat. We got upcoming talent. It's it's uh it's crazy. I don't know what's going on with the crowd noise. It's in a cup. Let me see if I can fix that. Let's go down a little bit. That a little better. That a little better. Might be in a cup. Could be a swarm of bees. I don't know. This scene is weird. It might be a swarm of bees. We don't know. Passion. What's up, El Toro? This sounds broken. This is pulled from the game. It's just a loop 
of crowd noise from the game. So, I don't know. I guess we don't hear it when we play the game. We're distracted. So, welcome, welcome, everybody. Night two of the Christmas special. We got six matches planned for you tonight. Doing good, Alto. Are you doing good? One of the matches we have planned is a 10-man Royal Rumble match for the last spot, if you will. Unless someone redeems to join or shenanigans happen with the spin wheel. Who knows? Tonight's going to be crazy, I feel. I really feel it. But, you know, we'll see. Um, Ten people in the Rumble. And there was one person that we couldn't add, unfortunately, because we didn't get their character. So if you want to join the roster, make sure your character's under our hashtag, NAW22. If I can't find you, I can't book you. So please upload your character to the right hashtag so we can book you. Uh, who was it? It was somebody making their debut. Um, I don't remember the name now because I, I deleted it from the list and we have somebody taking their spot. So I apologize. Um, but if they come back to me later once they upload the character, I can book them for free. So they know who they are if they're not in their match tonight. Your cat's being an asshat. That's not good. Let's talk about our other matches. So yes. 10-man Rumble, NAW Contendership on the line. We also have the DNA Championship match tonight. Ty versus the Timekeeper, a.k.a. the Crow, Mark Caliber, for that very championship, the DNA Championship. So yes, 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 y'all. We got one, two, three, we got four championship matches tonight. It's exciting. Christmas ain't going to be that good. He said, let me get a few presents. We got four, four title matches. Barricaded himself in the back of the Christmas tree. Oh, God. Jeez. That's no good. I see redemptions happening. I see you, lads. All right. Also tonight, Tag Team Championship on the line. I see you, Queen. I see you. Emma Lana defending against Angelina and Selena Maverick. Tag contendership opportunity here. Thunderbird and Raided in action. Opening up the show, we have Angelina and Velvet for the Women's Championship. And in our big main event, Shane, main event, Maverick, the champion defending against number one contender, Jacob Evans. That's your main event. Let's hope we don't get squash matches tonight. Let's hope. But who knows? It is Christmas special. The 12 matches of Christmas. The second half, night two, however you want to name this show. And I'm honestly so happy and thankful. And it's not Thanksgiving, but I'm so thankful. I'm uh, humbled that you guys continued to support NAW throughout this year. I know we got one more show for NAW next week, Thursday. But again, thank you for everything this year. We again did almost 150 episodes. It's incredible the journey we've been on. We'll talk more about things to come and things happening. Um, also, one other thing. Well, five other things. Uh, one more show we do. Five other things. We got five interviews tonight. So, yes, you're going to meet some lovely people from our roster wanting that commissioner spot. So stick around. We got six matches, five interviews, and a lot of fun and probably shenanigans with the spin wheel at the end of the night. So we'll see. What's up, Lana? Yes, please, El Toro. Upload NAW22 if you want to be a part of the roster. Watch to earn channel points. Redeem like you're seeing people do in chat. Simple as that. We stream multiple nights a week, every single week. Plenty of opportunities to earn channel points. And uh, let us know if you have any questions. NAW Matt, thank you. Thank you all for finding this place as a home. Let's go to night two, episode 609 of the Christmas special. But wait, there's a song to welcome us. Oh, see? Can y'all hear this? Am I, am I the only one hearing this? Yeah, I must be. Nobody's hearing that? You hear it? Okay. King Conair 93 wants your attention to cut a promo. Grab I yeah, sucks that is all. Thanks, Conair. You can always count on you. All I want. 
want for Christmas is you. All right, let's go, ladies and gents. It's time for episode 609. It's going to be weird tonight. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, 609, that's the episode number we're on. It is night two of the 12 matches of Christmas, the Christmas special for NAW 2022. Let's go. That's right. I see you. Look at that gift there, Emma, with the generosity. Hey, see, we got good people here. I missed it. No, I didn't miss it. I see it. I see you. I see everything. I don't see everything. Why we have Emma as our amazing mod. Shout out to Emma, our mod this year for 2022, taking the channel to the next level. Thank you for everything you do. She knows a lot about this stuff, honestly. Like, I wouldn't have done half the stuff in our chat if it wasn't for her modding. So, thank you. Huge shout out. Let's kick things off with a championship match, shall we? And let's hope it's not a dang squash match. Prediction time. Who will win? Will it be the defending champion, Angelina? Or will it be the challenger, Velvet? Get your predictions on now, chat. And again, stick around too. We got interviews tonight. The spin wheel. A lot going on tonight. Six matches, but I feel it's a big night still. I just, there's something in the air tonight. I just feel it. Thursdays get weird too, so who knows. NAW Matt says squash retain. Velvet's done for us. Is Garmer. And maybe. Crowding in the title match. We'll see. Here we go. The following contest. Thank you, El Toro. Scheduled for one fall. And is for the Women's World Championship. Here we go. Championship in the women's division. Kicking things off. And again, if you submit updates, I check them every Wednesday. So if you want to submit an update, make sure it's up before Wednesday. Um, if it comes down to like an afternoon when a card is already posted on a Thursday or if we're doing a Wednesday, Probably not gonna get to your update. It's nothing personal. I just don't have time. So, Donnie got a crush on Velvet here. I mean, be grateful though. I used to do updates only once a month on the first, and that was it. I'm doing it every week for y'all. What's up, I Rob? And happy holidays again, everybody. Thank you for joining us for our night two here at the Christmas special. Night one was a lot of fun. It went pretty quick. But that's okay. More than me. Hey, you should appreciate Emma more than me. Everybody should. No one appreciate me. Pity me. <laughs> I need a competitive contract back. Grav wants to wrestle again. He hasn't competed since 600. It's It's been a month and he's ready. Thank you, Phillips. Yeah, gravity smell. There we go, the champion, Angelina Angelo. He said we're doing the deal tonight. Deal with the devil? You say he's talking to code? I don't even know what's happening. Ty says, Miss Champ. Mm, yep. 
Holding that belt awfully close to her heart here tonight. Something tells me and this might be the last night for Angelina to be King Conair 93 wants your attention to cut a promo. Ty got a trivia? sick dump truck. Is it set? I haven't even joined that chat to circle back yet, though. <laughs> They're out here making rules for the channel. You have five million strands. It's unfortunate that the strand system is still broken. I really wish Streamlabs would have fixed that. Because honestly, like a lot of you uh, tenured agents, I told you to <laughs> shake my damn head, Bear Phillips. Women's Championship, though, on the line here. That's what it's Introducing all about. Introducing the challenger from Avalon, Miss Violet. Velvet here, the challenger. And introducing the champion from Sin City. She's the Women's World Champion, the Judge. Angelina Angelo! Glad you can't use strands and being for leaking battery acid. Oh my god. And yeah, Nerdcred takes a little bit longer. I have adjusted the prices a little bit. So on average you can earn about twenty-five to thirty thousand a month with the way we've been putting out shows. So If you were to catch everything, that is. Bear Phillips wants your attention to cut a promo. I have four million. There we go. Velvet starting off as the aggressor as they meet in the middle. Dragons who take down. They're leaking. They shouldn't be leaking. That's not good for a phone to do that. What's up, Chris? Headbutt to the back of the head here. Angelina starting things off again. The six million. Again, I'm hoping for no squash matches tonight, but who the hell knows? Anything can happen. Fisherman set up. Fisherman, brain buster, suplex from Velvet here on the champion. Catching the champion off the incredible style here. Pulling out all the stops, but a jawbreaker reversal from the champion. And a famous, sir. I see you. You did, I, Rob. You did retain. Yes. Stomping, working on the hand now. 7.3K. I'm at 52.3K. Nice suplex again there. Bear Phillips wants your attention to cut a promo. Let's Don't listen here. to this faker. I am the real Gravity W3LL. I was kidnapped just one. before Na EP. One, <laughs> please help me. Oh, that was a tap, referee! Angelina just tapped! I know it was a single tap, but... I think the champion just tapped out here. She's getting rocked! Velvet looking great. The focus right now. Going high risk. Championship on the line. Big move! Big stomp! I don't know, Garmer. It looked like it tapped to me. She might be thinking of it. Big Spear Velvet! The title's on the line! Oh, two count only. Angelina kicked out. Could this be? Will she tap out here? Submission set up. Reaching. Will she tap? Will we crown a new champion in our opening match? She fights through the pain. Velvet, though, continuing the assault. Stab into a cover here. Velvet with another chance. Oh, the referee almost went down for three. He pulled his hand away at the last split second. Velvet though continues her assault here. Another submission attempt. I can't quite see from this angle, but will Angelina tap? Oh, she's got that wrench in deep. Oh, let's go though. 
That's unfortunate. Velvet again going high risk. The champion looking worse for wear. Oh, the stop, but misses. Angelina back up. They lock. Belly to belly, but stops it. Hip toss reversal. Champion trying to make a comeback. Late in the match, catches over the kick, and then another to the back of the head. Quickly into the cover. The champion's had enough of this nonsense. Two count there. It is nuts. Back and forth opening contest here. Very close. Been a reversal from Velvet. But stops it. Back and forth reversals. Catches her. Booking into the cover. Oh, let's go with a pinfall. Why? She has other plans. Springboard moonsault landed. Hurt her shoulder in the process. Champion looking real good. Looking for high risk move here to make a statement. But moves out of the way. Velvet now capitalizing on the missed opportunity. Nice suplex. Challenger here trying to go for another quick cover. Referee in position, slow to get there. One count only because of that. Velvet now setting up Angelina the champion. Rocking her with a few kicks here. And a clothesline to end that chain. What does she have in mind here? Submission specialist is Velvet locking her into another. This could be enough. She, can she get to the ropes though? She's fighting. She can't quite reach the rope, but letting go of it is Velvet. Wise move not to exhaust yourself. And instead set something else up. The brutality here. Angelina looks like she's in trouble. Velvet with another cover. Relentless. We have a new champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Velvet is your new women's champion. Wow. Welcome to night two of our Christmas special. Unbelievable. Angelina walking away, frustrated. She gave it her all, but it wasn't enough. We have a new women's champion, and her name is Velvet. Crowd here reacting, saying you deserve it. Congratulations and Merry Christmas. That was in favor of the new champion, too. 5K getting divvied out to nine viewers. Not bad, not bad. Let's head to our first interview tonight, shall we? Who do we have? There are five total. Sure, you deserve it. It wasn't fast, at least. No, it was a decent match. Decent match. Thunderbird and Rated coming up next here. You can get your predictions in while we wait. This is a tag contender opportunity. The winner, of course, Rated will have to find a tag partner. Timekeeper, MIA. We're here. We're here. All right. First interview. Vesa. What episode did Vesa debut on? They debuted on 589 when the storm came through NAW. And again, we ask all these individuals the same questions out of fairness. Yes, the, the winner of this match rated, if you win your match here, you get a tag contender, a tag title match of the pay-per-view. So yes, basically, relatively young, 589. This is episode 609, so 20 episodes ago. How can you change the landscape of NAW? More storm, more energy. Everybody needs to run down the ramp. Yes. If you were in state as commissioner right now, what would your first order of business be? Less restraints on the ropes, less strength to shake them more. Okay. What do you think is NAW's biggest problem? The ramps are way too long to run down. Just wait till Acumania. What do you think is NAW's biggest strength? The Samoan family, Vesa says. When the teacher asked for a big, strong person to help carry chairs in first grade, did you raise your hand? Lisa says, yes, I was the biggest kid in class. I would take two chairs and I would run down the hall to wherever they needed to be. 
Uh, after I got there, I put them down. I would just shank the door. <laughs> what? Do you pour your cereal before your milk or your milk before your cereal, Vesa? Cereal before milk, milk before cereal. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. It just matters how fast you're done. This man is in a hurry. And he's probably going to admire me rushing through his interview then. What attracted you to apply to this position? The storm isn't strong enough here. It needs to be stronger. My coworkers, the GMs, everybody needs more energy. Ladies and gentlemen, Vesa, the commissioner of NAW. Huh? Huh? Day one versus day 1,000. Damn. Vesa, commissioner of NAW, maybe? We have our last interviews next week, Thursday, by the way, and our first show in January, we'll make our decision and we'll announce it. It's coming quick. Let's head to our next match. Your new guy's sweetness is ready. We're looking, we're ready. It's like Jimmy Eat World, the sweetness. Thunderbird. We need to update his makeup on the next one. He's looking creepy. You like Vesa slowly going? Could you imagine his next update? He's just super slow. He just takes his time. It was a short and sweet enemy. Some, some of them have to be. Not all of them are like thorns. Philip says, I'm trying to change everything immediately. <laughs> That's when Vesa turns heel. See, that makes sense. Sweetness guy has the Velveteen Dream Interest motion. You're going to throw a chair through a window? Can you tape it if you do? Please? here again opportunity in this match winner gets a tag championship match so whoever wins let me know who your tag partner is so I can fill them in you gotta get a women's entrance so we already know Thunderbirds rated do you have a tag partner Dude, who's your tag partner? Backyard garbage death match. Wow. Tell us how you really feel. So here we go. Yo! I love it, Rated. I'm excited for that. Not to be biased here, but I hope you win. That's a solid duo. Two powerhouses. Thunderbird, though, starting off very strong on Rated here. Again, singles match to earn a right for a tag team title match at the pay per view next week. Springboard! Did you win? Didn't you win on the wheel last week? Did you? Yeah. I don't know. You might have. I'd have to check. I can't remember everything. That's why I have a word doc. I write everything down. I to type everything. Otherwise, I would forget. I don't know how y'all do it without it. Nice choke being applied here from Rated in the corner. Separating. Even though this is an extreme rules match, anything goes. Thorne took this very seriously. I think he was one of the most serious individuals. He said, I get 15 minutes, let me take that and maximize my 15 minutes. Take notes, 15 minutes is a theme for tonight. You'll find out more later why. Kendo stick in play at ringside here. Extreme rules, anything goes. Nice backflip from Raiden as they lock up. He said, wait until you read my... You guys are up tonight, Phillips. You were supposed to be in character, I, Rob. But I guess you are just you. Did someone say three minutes? You remember three-minute warning? That, that tag team? 
Did someone have their 15 minutes of fame and now they're departing? Oh, Braden, what are you doing? He tried to jump into the front row. Yes, could it be Shane Maverick getting their 15 minutes of fame and departing as champion? They could be. 40 minute promos. Good Lord. Action continues here on the outside. Episode 609 for those keeping track. Who does that? We got Thunderbird and Rated here. Winner getting a tag title opportunity. 60 minute Iron Man match. Good Lord. The last time we did one of those was episode 500. And that was a lot of fun. I still have my scorecard. I've kept it as a, as a memory of that evening. And it's on my shelf. And I have my scorecard, and I, I plan on keeping that as a memento of uh, our night together. You don't have character, just you. Into the steel steps there on the outside, ready to go. Thunderbird here continuing his assault. You can't wrestle! Crowdy or not you a fan. You can't wrestle. Let it be heard. You can't wrestle. You can't wrestle. So be held with all of you. Each and every last one of you. Uh, 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 Crowdy or not a fan. I'm ready to Thunderbird. Who's in the Tokyo Dome and be seven stars? Oh no, he did not say period. I see you time. 15 minutes. Is it? They're having fun. We got two. boring chance. This crowd not feeling Thunderbird and Rated. These two are giving it all. The crowd's not feeling it. At least El Toro Loco isn't. Rated trying to continue this all. Nice drop kick from Rated. I thought he was going to find the man. Where are you dragging him to? You got to get him to the middle of the ring, Rated. I see what he's doing. Submission attempt with Thunderbird. Tap out to Rated. Thunderbird's in trouble here. Will this be enough? No. Yeah, I'm glad another squash isn't happening. <laughs> I don't know what happened last night. Honestly. It was the most random night of matches. Steel chair, but Rated! My God! Caught him! Spare takedown though from Thunderbird on the outside. And yeah, this is this is rated in Thunderbird I love. Come on. Oh my god. I thought he was gonna chuck him into the apron there for a second. He decided not to. Military press on the outside. Those pads are thin. My god, sledgehammer now in play by Thunderbird. I thought y'all liked this extreme nonsense. He's assaulting his ankle over and over again. This is horrifying to watch. I rubs in here too. You can't see him, he's too short. Violet C. The new women's champion loves the violence. Steel chair, but stopped from Thunderbird. Catches him across the knee, rated in trouble here with the big boat. Thunderbird into the cover. Happy holidays from Cypher. Yeah. That'll do it. Thunderbird picking up the dub. They head to the pay-per-view with the title opportunity. Thunderbird is your type of guy, huh? Big win here for Thunderbird tonight. Rated upset. Disappointment on his face. That's all right. Everybody getting sad. It's the Christmas show. You don't want to lose on the Christmas show. Who wants to lose then? No. Our next match is the Tag Team Championship match. Emma and Lana against Angelina doing double duty and Selena Maverick. 
get your predictions in, and then we'll head to our next interview. Who is next? You won, and then a Grinch came along. I mean, that happens. That's a good question, Angelina and Selena, 100%. Who knows? All right, next. Hey, it's the one and only Mr. DNA, Mark Bennett. Again, we asked him the same questions we asked to everybody else, and here are their responses. What episode did you debut on? 129. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 609. That is, I can't math, what, 480 episodes ago? Is that math? Is that right? 480? Man, 480 episodes. That's crazy. Long time. Thank you for the commitment. How can you change the landscape of NAW? Mark says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. In the main event, or in the main, everything is good as is. I have several ideas, nothing major. One thing on the women's roster to draw more talent to the already strong side. Uh, if you're in status commissioner right now, what would be your first order of business, Mark? They said max out character matches to six and make the NPC title more prestigious, available to all who've never won the Naw only. Not a bad idea. What do you think is NAW's biggest problem, Mark? Champions going for other single titles instead of concentrating on blocking others and tag matches. Frees up space for others, large golf in size of men to women on the roster, but that's not Naw's fault. And there is more males than females watching this. But again, we have the opportunity where you can add a male and a female. We don't discriminate there as far as gender or your choice of that. So you can choose what you want to have involved here. What do you think is NAW's biggest strength? A sense of family, community, and the chance that a newcomer can come in and be champ almost straight away. It's the strength, is the desire people have for the brand and its titles. I've never seen it elsewhere. And it's true, swish, proof. Debut match wins the NAW championship. It can happen here. When the teacher asked for a big strong person to help carry chairs in first grade, did you raise your hand, Mark? Yes, if someone needs help, then of course I would. Likewise, if there's a lot of chairs, I'd try to get people together to help out and work as a unit. Teamwork. I don't know. Do you pour your cereal before your milk or your milk before your cereal, Mark? If and when I have cereal, it'd be pour cereal before milk, but working nights, it's usually toast. And I have neither on that. Fair answer. And what attracted you to apply to this position, Mark? My need to now expand after a lengthy time within NAW from being just the wrestler, but to do more for the brand in any way, shape, or form, that is. Mr. DNA being Mr. Commissioner, adding that moniker to his resume of time here. Could he be the next commissioner? What do you think, chat? Commissioner Mark Bennett? Hmm? He said kick him off the roster for milk before Syria. Jeez. Hater's gonna hate. Let's go, tag team championship match up next. Crowd reaction here. Again, the women clearly shine here on this roster. PNG, PNG chant happening. Icon says Mark for me. This is the superior one speaking. Dharma says if she drops the world, she gotta get the tag titles. Look guys, this Tyron wants your attention to cut a promo. Cheating. He said TV. Champs coming out separate. What is going on here? Where are the damn belts? 2K being 2K again. I 
I guess 2K is doing the 2K thing again. The tag division has the biggest issues, to be honest. Whether it's like the ending celebration or one character's like frozen in place, or the entrances, tag stuff is broke. The new Lonicon, all I did was swap. They're still assigned as a tag team. I don't understand. Maybe something's going on that we don't know? DC said we fix it. I fixed it. We didn't fix it. Em and Lana need a new entrance. Maybe that's what they're working on. They haven't figured out one yet. You miss Trunchbull? Ty is a beast. He said, at your service, careful. You can have everybody knocking. Oh, I mean, you got that fan out there. He said, go get him. Yeah, the game did not recognize them as walking out as the champions with the titles, at least. Uh, again, doesn't mean that they're not the champions, because they are. But this is for the Women's Tag Team Championship. Extreme Rules Contest. Still to come, DNA Championship, the NAW 10-Man Rumble, and our main event for the NAW Championship. You're electing Ty as your right hand man. He's left handed. <laughs> There's the titles right there. They're not non existent. They're right there. This game, I swear. Here we go. Extreme rules. They are just very magic. They're magical titles. Everybody meeting in the middle. We got Leg Kick City, apparently. Electric chair drops from Emma to Angelina. Selena Maverick and Lana tying up on the left there. Of course, Selena Maverick other already involved in the Women's Championship match against Velvet now, who's the new champion. So we know that for a fact. So Selena Maverick, Eve Steel, and Velvet in a triple threat for the Women's Championship thus far. I have not checked all the additional videos yet. Biscuits. This is so good. Pitfall attempt here from Angelina. DC says Selena has to watch the knee. Again, medical evaluation continues on Selena Maverick. We don't know if they're in 100%. We have not gotten a full report on that. So yeah, things are not looking good, though. Selena and Lana in the ring here. Nice reversal from Lana. He said Biscuits are okay. Dropping that knee down to the canvas. Lana here. And an almost arm bar. It's that famous are on the outside from Angelina to Emma here. Lana methodically tearing apart in a pinfall attempt. Again, Selena Maverick got 100%. This could do it. Two count there. Selena Maverick kicking out. Lana here setting up. Into another cover position here. Jimmy in the ring, but against Selena Maverick, not 100%, and it clearly shows. Maverick taking the pinfall looked, I don't want to say terrible, but didn't look good. Remember, says something wrong with the game. So, and still the tag team champions, Emma and Lana here. The crazy quick matches. We gotta figure out what's going on with these things. Here are your winners! I don't know why it's so squashy. We might have to turn down some stuff. <laughs> I'll adjust the dials. adjustments to be honest with you so I don't know what's going on and yeah our timekeeper helps us saving up stomach space for Christmas dinner not eating 
That must be it. Make finishers tad less effective. That, that could be it. Coming up next, DNA Championship match. We also have an interview coming up next. American, American has a problem. Now. Hello, um, I'm Ty. And for those who don't know me, I am the best thing NAW has, but you could just call me the problem. Because I'm also NAW's biggest problem. So, <laughs> fuck off, Jim. Jesus Christ. Why did I ask you to edit this? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I debuted on episode 332. How would I change the landscape in EW? Well, if we're being honest, Not impressed. I already have changed the landscape of NAW through my unique promo style, my attires, the energy I bring to the table, you know? Every last bit of me being here has changed the landscape. But if you're asking me how I change plan to change it in the future um i do plan to continue to help others improve on their promo work and gear designs to help increase the overall value of this brand over time <sighs> no i don't think that sounded cocky dude you? <laughs> you probably did i don't know i can't help it honestly jim just give me a fucking break. My first order of business would be one mandatory promo by the champion heading into the pay-per-view. I, of course, would help, you know, with helping them write it, help them edit it, help them record it. You know, I would help them every step of the way. Um, I just really think that champions should be hyping up their title defense especially for the main championship you know that's our flagship title that is the biggest prize in all of ai entertainment it should feel that way you know but, but what do i know you know <laughs> what, what is naw biggest problem me. You get it? Because I have a problem. <laughs> no. Run, run the intro clip. Jim. All you, all you had to do was run the intro clip, you ass white. Jesus Christ. Okay, whatever. What do I think NEW's biggest strength is? Honestly, I think the biggest strength is our community you know i may hate everyone and everyone may hate me but when the time is right we all come together you know and it's it can be pretty heartwarming even for a heartless person such as myself oh. there i admitted it i kind of like you guys whatever of course i'd carry the chairs you know sometimes even two if i was really up to it Serial first. Just like I put this roster first. <laughs> Leave me alone, Jim. I know I don't laugh like that. Why did I apply? <laughs> to put it simply, NAW needs me, you know? You guys need me. I need you. I think we can make this work. And what is the best AI league out there? Well, of course the best AI league out there is NAW because they have the problem. There is no problem like me 
anywhere else. This place is the best because they have me and I'm the best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Period. I, I'm sorry, I didn't know what to say at the end of this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ty for the Commissioner of NAW. I mean, honestly, he submitted a video promo. The following contest How do you top is that? an Extreme Rules match and is for the classic I don't think wrestling you do. championship. Try not to be biased here, but that's going to be hard to top. Although some of the other people's answers were really good too, though. So is it cheating? Is it cheating? Were there rules that said you couldn't? He answered the same questions. He said cheat if you didn't cheat. And didn't say not to submit a video. He answered the same questions. Just saying. <laughs> The Timekeeper, a.k.a. the Crow Mark Caliber here with a huge opportunity for the DNA Championship. Hey, Phillips, where are you been? It's Mark Caliber. It's not Sting. Yes. So here should be a thing. You should know your roster if you want to be commissioner of the roster. That's clearly not Sting. Doesn't even resemble Sting. Please. <laughs> Ty's concerned. He said he is so about to whoop ass. We've had one title change, one retain here tonight. But we see another change hands. Who knows? I know Mark. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the problem, the solution, the commissioner. He's done a lot of the things here. And he is the DNA champion. Can you give my title to Angelina? Angelina and Ty? What? I'm so confused. There it is. The shot that speaks volumes. The wide angle holding up the title to his people. Crowd reacting here wisely to him. Receiving him very well. Good reaction here though. Tie here tonight. DNA Championship coming up next, episode 609. Our 12 matches of Christmas night two here live right now on twitch.tv slash Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 239 pounds. Mark Kelly! Ty, you know how some crowds are different. This crowd clearly... And introducing the champion from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 265 pounds. He is the classic wrestling champion, the innovator. You'd sell their souls for 63 cents. That's very specific. What can you get for 63 cents? Well, he did not want to hand over that belt. He took one good look at it. Caliber didn't even look at the title. Did you see that? His mouth has cashed a lot of checks. <laughs> Mark Caliber didn't even want to look at the title. He just nodded at the referee. He's like, I know what this is for. We're going to have a fight. Here we go. Ty's not kidding. Mark Caliber coming out hard. Snapmare takedown. 
Mark Caliber going high risk. Oh no. Oh, missile drop kick from the top rope. Oh my god, but ties back up. Atomic drop. Mark Caliber feeling it right now. Springboard ass drop. This is not happening, not to tie. Oh no, Houston, we have a problem. Off the ropes, catching him with the cutter. Yeah, that's the name of it, Garmer. That's what it's called. No, two Kepney almost lost the title. Oh my god. Mark Caliber going up top again. Oh my! The hang time on that pitfall to follow. No way! Oh! Two and a half. That was so close. Leg sweep. And Ty misses. Botchamania called. Kyle Bear says it's the death from above. Ty is shook. We gotta figure out the balancing of this game. This is falling apart each episode that we do now. Since the latest update, that ass drop again from Caliber. Ty now taking advantage of the mistake from Caliber. Ty trying to make a comeback. He's getting pissed off. Better than getting pissed on. But Mark Caliber trying to get some tank down here. Goes through the ropes up top. Oh, but he dodges out of the way. Wise move there. And he catches him with a running forearm strike. Multiple strikes here landed from Caliber. And a big one dropping the champion. Caliber going outside. Oh, he's going up top rope now. Oh, my God. And another guy from above. Pinfall. Tie kick out. Oh, no. Oh, God. 2.9. The champ's still holding on here. He's trying with everything he has left. Can Ty overcome the odds? Big kick dropping caliber. What has these two nights been, honestly? This is insane. Kendo stick in hand. Ty's had enough. Now he's just going to... Oh, he misses. Lands that one, though. Oh, very effective striking from the champion. Breaking the kendo stick now. Ty coming alive late in the match. He needs to. Here we go. Nice gate. And to the cover of the champion to retain. Oh, no two count again. Oh, my. Insane. He said, consider non-canon move to pay-per-view. <laughs> this is happening in real time. Oh, my God. Let's go. And a takedown here. Getting choked out is Ty. Ty's in trouble. Did he pass it? No. He let go. The crow's beak, he calls that one. Into a cover. Ty looking in trouble again. Oh, no. Oh, and he kicked out. And here we go. Death from above. Part three. Lands it. This has got to be it. There's no way in hell Ty's kicking out of that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new DNA champion now. DC says now I'm terrified. Honestly, I don't know what is happening with these two shows. I swear and I promise to each and every one of you, I have Here's not changed winner, anything. And new classic wrestling champion. Mark Kelly Bear! Well, Mark Caliber, you're the new DNA champion. Merry Christmas to you. He almost collapsed in the corner out of excitement.
This man gave it his all. Look at that. He doesn't know what to do. It's your moment, man. Congratulations. Mark Kelly there. 45% was in favor. Craziness. Craziness. Well, we got another interview coming up. Who's it going to be? Let's find out, shall we? Hazel Phillips. They debuted on episode 501. And they were again asked all the same questions as everybody else. How can you change the landscape of NAW? I have a background in managing. I would ensure that the landscape of NAW would remain consistent. Slight overhauls in the future of me as commissioner. I will have every voice be heard and give a voice to those who aren't the top 1% of nerd cred. If you're in state as commissioner right now, what would your first order of business be? Ask every person to listen on the roster, poor and rich champions and non-champions, what they believe is the weakest part of NAW. And then change that so everyone is happy. Just a word of advice, you can't make everybody happy. It's impossible. What do you think is NAW's biggest problem? The show is controlled by the audience, but some people never get a chance to be seen. I will instate preliminary matches, pre nerd cred matches, and those will be taken into account for championship opportunities as well. Sounds like she just wants to give handouts. What do you think is NAW's biggest strength? We can easily give everyone a voice, and there is a strong accessibility for everyone. You just made the list! Chris with the race up for nine months. Thank you so much, sir. When the teacher asked for a big, strong person to help carry chairs in first grade, did you raise your hand, Hazel? Absolutely, I did. In fact, I often was the one asking people to help because I did it without being asked. Do you pour your cereal before your milk or your milk before your cereal? Hazel says, cereal first. And lastly, what attracted you to apply to this position? My background in team leading and managing talent. So they have experience, everybody. Hazel Phillips for Commissioner of NAW. What do you all think? Chat, you're awfully quiet tonight. Handouts? No, why, Rob? You cannot have a handout. You already have a title. What else do you need? Greedy. Be greedy. Ladies and gentlemen, the NAW Rumble for the NAW Contendership. The winner will advance and join the championship match at the pay-per-view. The real question is, who drew number one and number two, and then who drew the lucky number 10 spot? The following spot? contest is the Royal Rumble match. Now, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 10 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania. Well, that's an unfortunate number one draw. Mesa, he's always the quickest to get in, so I guess it makes sense that they're number one here. He doesn't want to waste time getting into the match at all. So the number one spot for Vesa here. I heard he needs a step ladder. <laughs> so Vesa, good luck here. The winner will get an NAW title match at the pay-per-view. They'll join the champion Anthony Ty and Trevor Santos. That's the way the match stands right now. We got redeems to get to, of course. The, the uh, spin wheel could shake things up. And we'll close the show with that like we did last week. And yes, NPC is uh, like NXT, just no, no commentary. So. <laughs> Ty about the fight chat. <laughs> Ty's fired up now. He lost his damn title. Angel coming in at number two here. It's 
Selena Storm, you are at the pay-per-view. Dancing in the Rain is in the Tag Championship match. Yeah, see that fan is happy about that. Homeless vibes? Kinda. Is he the real Santa though? That's a good question. His broke Santa. Santa came and left. He lost to uh, NAW Matt. Then he got his revenge. And uh, we haven't seen him since. So. Y'all miss Santa? I'm going to have to throw that entrance for you. <laughs> Get that sack. You didn't find that when you made him? What's up, Jay Penn? Dudes of Batman Argo City used to say they were gonna kill Batman too. Damn. Not the spike to Angel here. We're counting down already. Who's gonna be number three in the 10 man rumble? Oh my god, he's gonna chuck Angel out early. Hey, Aaron coming in at number three. And again, the winner of this rumble will join the NAW Championship match next week for our final show of 2022. Up on the shoulders of Angel now is Vesa here. And Aaron keeping his distance. Superior icon. So he's going to lose for Dancing in the Rain. Yes, they will be in action next week. Tag Team Championship opportunity for Dancing in the Rain. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Coming at number four here. Could Ollie win this match? and head back into the NAW Championship picture. At one time, they were involved in a championship match. Mark walks through the crowd with the DNA Championship. Look at this Ollie, oh no! The has been eliminated. No! Vesa sidestepped and threw Ollie out immediately. Are you kidding me? Bennett, the one and only, coming at number five. Good Lord, what is happening? Yes. Mesa with a nice senton splash to Angel. Icon cares about anyone. Yeah, the superior icon only cares about himself. Swish man coming at number six here. I remember DC. Do you remember? I remember. Yeah, I'll remember. That happens. I mean, if you have enough cred, you can just put yourself back in the match, anyways. So. Trust me, if I return to the roster, I have enough cred to make some moves, and moves will be made. I'm at 52.4k. Counting down who's going to be joining the match next. Swiss trying to get rid of Vesa. It's Yuri Claus! Ho, ho, ho! Let's go, Yuri Claus! Look at this. Who do we have left even? Down. Just a few more spots left in this rumble. Who's going to be joining us? It's Thorn. Thorn winning big at last year's Christmas special, winning their first NAW championship. Will he have the same luck or similar luck tonight by winning an NAW opportunity here by winning this rumble? We'll find out, obviously. That ring is beginning to fill up. You want a sub? The Christmas sub? Donnie wants gifts. Oh, Angel eliminated. Troy Andrews coming at number nine. 
So who's number 10? Troy Andrews here now joining us. The ring filling up. It's a sup, bra. Evil plan for the oh. Tie up to no good. Gift itself successful. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. We're just pretty good, you guys. We're pretty good. Oh, an elimination occurred. Who got eliminated? Did anyone pull a Jonah? No. Oh, yeah. Aaron eliminated there. Santa? What? No! Santa's in the damn rumble. Faisa eliminated. You've got to be kidding me. Could Santa win the damn rumble? DC says, I swear to God, not Santa. There it is. Ty giving us up. Thank you, Ty. Here's for the pretty good show so far, Donnie. Welcome to NAW. Ty's online. <laughs> a sup and a sub. Whoop. Oh, don't, don't thank you. Okay. Shush. Shush. I've been shush. I'm sorry. Troy Andrews and Thorne on the right. Oh, Troy Andrews ending the night for Thorne. If you eliminate Santa, y'all getting call. Troy Andrews trying to get rid of Santa. We're down to five here. Icon is rooting for Santa. Which one? Yuri Claus or Santa Claus? I guess Santa. That makes the most sense. Swish now trying to get rid of Santa. Is Swish gonna do it? Swish got rid of Santa. Where's your dad with all the other ones? I don't know. We're down to four though. Mark. Yeri, Swish, and Troy. Yeah, Swish. You're on the naughty list now, dude. Nice takedown from Swish here. Meanwhile, Yuri and Mark doing battle. You didn't want to fight Santa. That's mighty confident of you. You, you gotta survive tonight. You, you do realize that, right? Nice takedown from Troy Andrews on Swish here. Meanwhile, Mark... The gifted sub gave you 500 nerf crit. Yeah, when you do things like that, you get nerf crit. Uh-oh, Swish in trouble. Troy, possible elimination here. Troy continuing to try to get Swish out of the ring. You said after seeing these matches, you're terrified? You're worried your 15 minutes is coming to an end? I'd be worried too. <laughs> Damn squash a springboard moonsault from the Swish Man. Meanwhile, Mark trying to make a comeback on Yuri here. Back and forth. We got our final four. Who's headed to the pay-per-view? And after this match, we have our main event and the spin wheel to close the show. So keep that in mind. In my opinion, this is the best show to redeem spin wheel on, the one right before the pay-per-view, as you can change the entire card at the end of this thing. That's true. Big clothesline from Yuri Claus. Meanwhile, Swish is in trouble from Troy here. In big trouble. He's holding on, though. Mark now into the ropes from Yuri Claus. Can Yuri get rid of Mark? Donnie has Troy for the win. Oh, Mark up and over onto the apron, though. He's not quite out yet. And Mark is eliminated. We're down to three. Yuri Claus, Swishman, and Troy Andrews. Yuri taking a moment to show, though. No surprise there from the other class. I see the redemptions coming in. Again, we will get to those at the end of the show, I promise you. 
And if you're wondering when your matches are getting booked, make sure you join us on social media. I always post the cards there each and every week. And then I will post tomorrow the finalized card for the pay-per-view. Swiss man oh, get eliminated by the super kick by Troy Andrews. We're down to Yuri Claus and Troy Andrews. Is Yuri Claus gonna take this thing? Oh no! Ho ho ho! Yuri Claus with the win here tonight. They are headed to the championship match next week at the pay per view. Big win for them. Here is your winner, Yuri the Reaper. He looks hurt though. Connor. He said LFG. So there you go. Yuri Claus. Trying to get you some new profile picks, man. Congratulations, you're headed to the pay-per-view. Let's see how predictions did. Oh, we didn't do predictions for that one. <laughs> My bad. Main event time, Shane Maverick. Shane Main Event Maverick, Jacob Evans, the NAW Championship. We got one more interview to get to. So don't go nowhere. Who's our last interview here? All right, our last interview of tonight. And after this, leaves us with only three more interviews that'll take place at the pay-per-view next week. And then again, we'll have our decision at the first show of 2023. So, Bear Phillips, what episode did you debut on? Episode 501 for them. How can you change the landscape of NAW? I will provide equal opportunity for all. No longer will we see the same talents controlling the show and running every match. Everyone will get their shot. There will also be a stronger emphasis on storyline-based booking. If you're in state as commissioner right now, what would your order, first order of business be? You got undivided attention. Bear Phillips would revamp the storyline bookings and show a more favorable view for those who go to the extra mile creatively. So, Ty, you're basically going to be in every match if Phillips is commissioner. What do you think is NAW's biggest problem? There is no emphasis on creativity or our community. We all make unique cause and give them creative looks, but there's barely any growth through stories for characters. If no one being creative with storylines, everyone becomes the same at the end of the day. What do you think, chat, so far? What do you think is NAW's biggest strength? Our community, NAW, is one of the best and most toxic-free wrestling communities out there. Everyone involved puts forth the effort every week to progress the product and show it every week with support. The commitment from this community is bar none and one of the best in the world. When the teacher asked for a big, strong person to help carry chairs in first grade, did you raise your hand? Mayor Phillips was six foot tall by the time they was in fifth grade and was always taller than all the teachers, so what do you think? Do you pour your cereal before your milk or milk before your cereal? If you, be, if you pour milk, then cereal, you're an absolute psychopath, they say. And what attracted you to apply for this position? I believe I have more to give this community than what I have been. And I know with a bigger responsibility, I will rise to the occasion as I always have and will ensure continued growth for all of NAW. So what do you all think? Bear Phillips for commissioner of NAW. And here's the thing, too, for all our entries, do you believe in what they're saying? They're campaigning here for themselves to represent you as commissioner. So do you believe in these leaders or potential leaders? That's the biggest question. We will post a public poll opinion on all of these after they're all said and done, so you have a voice as well. Because you all make this roster, your voice should be heard. But ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event of night two of our Christmas special. The 12th match of Christmas 2022, the second night here, concluding. And I said many times that we talked about 15 minutes of fame on this show. So ladies and gentlemen, our main event is a 15-minute Iron Man match for the NAW Championship. 
Get your predictions in now. Iron Man the match rules. is an extreme rules match. And he's for the World Championship. A draw could happen. In the case of a draw, you get refunded. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Evans. He has been chasing this title since his debut. He says he's ready, he's focused. This is a big moment. This is a big match, a big opportunity. Only one person got this from our mystery boxes. And that individual with a smile on his face here tonight, Evans knows, he knows what opportunity he has. And he has a very similar chase to Shane Maverick. These two have paralleled each other in their careers there almost identically. So big match feel, main event Maverick against the challenger here, Jacob Evan, Evans, for the championship. We got a CeeLo chance happening in chat right now. What I need from you all, if anyone wants the responsibility as being a scorekeeper, letting us know where we're at after every pinfall submission. Thank you, Phillips. See that? When the teacher asks, there Phillips raises their hand. Demonstrating their answers in the interview, people. You all can do it. It doesn't have to be just one person. <laughs> Looking a little perturbed here tonight. Main event Maverick. Looking distracted. Looking displeased as he found out as he arrived at the arena tonight. That not only was he defending his championship in the main event, which he knew, but he did not know that it was going to be an Iron Man match. Listen, I know it's only 15 minutes, but you have to train for that kind of match. If you look back at the history of his championship matches, how many of them have gone 15 minutes or more? Does he have the endurance does he have the stamina? It is outlast your opponent. And survival at all costs here for main event Maverick. And you have to wonder if he has Selena on his mind with the injuries here. We know that she's not 100%. But that's what it's for. The coveted NAW Championship. Our prize that's been introducing the challenge episode one match from one. Salem, Massachusetts, weighing in at 304 pounds. Jacob, the X Factor, Evans. Jacob Evans, super and introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 270 pounds. He is the world champion. Shane Maverick! Referee showing. That's what this is all about. Good luck to both competitors. Main event, episode 609. Our penultimate title match of the year. 15 minutes on the clock. Rated is already bored. Quick pinfall already. They're having fun too. 
Oh my god! Are you kidding me? And a spear takedown, a cover! Two count! What is happening to the champion? Shane in deep trouble within the first 30 seconds. High risk move, lands the cross body. Evans absolutely in fuego. Come out hitting on all cylinders tonight. But Maverick with that nice uppercut. Maverick says, what the hell? He's back focused. He's gotta be pinfall time. We're one minute in. That was the craziest minute I've seen in a title match in a while. Maverick frustrated. 0-0 game here after a hot first minute. They need to cool off here. They're going to exhaust themselves coming out like that. Let's see. Evans with a pinfall. Not even a one count. And yeah, Selena Maverick is the sister. Just to clarify the confusion there. <laughs> Up on the shoulders, main event. Maverick gets dropped down. Crawls into a cover again here. Champion. Two. Two count only. And yeah, we're going to get hit with winter weather as well. Hope everyone's safe for those affected by this storm. If you're in an area that's getting one. We are. Maverick setting up a trifecta here. Nice suplexes, German there. Beautiful brain buster suplex in that sequence. Maverick heading outside the ring now. Chair in hand. Off the head of Evans, my God. Back standing though, back and forth. 12 and a half minutes remain in this championship match. Negative four tonight, that's terrible. That kick though, oh my god! Two count! Maverick survived the kick, but Evans has more. the cover after the spear. That's three. Ladies and gentlemen, Evans won the champion. Zero. Oh, God. He just dumped him ringside. Dude, you're winning. Don't do anything crazy. Cross body to the outside. And yes, Iron Man match, nice kick. Yeah, we're getting 15 minutes regardless. This could end in a draw. If a draw, the champion remains champ. So Maverick, all he needs to do is just tie it up to stay champ. That's three. Where's my scorekeeper, Phillips? <laughs> Evans with a pin. And back and forth. Oh my god, two to one, Evans is up. Where'd my scorekeepers go? Evans up two to one now. Less than 11 in this match. But a nice reversal. Bit of a back and forth in the ring here now. Maverick trying to get the upper hand. Oh, drops him right on the knee. Body drop, setting up his trio of moves here. And a nasty brain buster suplex. Maverick into the cover. It's three. Tie game two to two now. Chair in hand for main event Maverick, but Evans pushes off. A 
Rob on the shoulders again. Maverick here gets him caught into that. And a cover here. Champion going up now, three to two. This is like tug of war happening. No one with the real advantage yet. A lot of time remaining. Up and over and out of the ring. Laylock Horns dumped into the ring now. Evans needs to get more aggressive like he did starting this match. Oh, but Maverick dodges the kick. He wised up. Maverick learning. He has been watching and preparing for this opponent. And that has been paying off. Studying tapes has been paying off as he dumps them with the powerbomb to the ring side. Again, just keeping the clock going here, obviously, in favor of the champion. That's another for the champion. Extending his lead now two to four. And four to two. Chris not pleased with the performance here, but trying to make a comeback. Evans with a pinfall. Referee took way too long to get there. And that, that, that'll cost you. Referee out of position. Should have been three, I agree. Back in the ring now. Four to two. Oh, the steel chair off the head of Maverick. Oh, God, look at his face right now. He doesn't know where he is. Evans is waiting. He's plotting something. That kick, he was plotting the damn kick. Pinball attempt, there's no way you're kicking out of that. Three to four now, Evans trying to make a comeback. He's got to maintain this dominance. If he keeps up this aggression, he's got this match in the bag, in my opinion. Look out, Maverick, spear coming. Oh, God, but he's side coming. Oh, no. On the shoulders. Evans in trouble now. He said that hit. Again, getting that lead back up. Three to five. Evans going back to the chair. He said better luck with that thing. Oh, but he knocked the chair out of his hands. Maverick now. And another powerbomb to the outside. 640 remains. Anything can happen, though. It's really about those last few minutes of this match. Catches him midair. And again, after the match, don't go anywhere. We do have the spin wheels to get to. If you want to make moves, that's the time to do it. Off the steel steps. Chair in hand. Evans heading out ringside. Off the face of Maverick. He's just assaulting him. Hit him, Evans. Maverick back standing. But Evans slams him down into a cover on the outside. That's great. Four to five now. Four to five. The champion up by one. So Evans needs to maintain that aggression to get this match back in his favor. We're nearly two-thirds through this. Evans dumping him into the steel steps on the outside. Evans looking under the ring for something. What does he have in mind? A baseball bat. Oh, God, sir. But somehow Maverick gets up. Atomic drop to Evans. And a second one.
And what is he? Don't just stand there, sir. Maverick assaulting him with the damn bat. Get up. Oh, he ripped it out of his hands. Now Evans has the bat. We are one pin difference in this match. With four and a half minutes remaining. He's missing though. Oh, he connected with that one. I saw blood splatter. Good God. Put your kids to bed. The violence is happening. But Maverick catching him again into another cover. Evans, kick out. You need to. And he kicks out. Oh my God. Less than four minutes. The score is four to five in favor of Maverick. Crowd trying to cheer for Evans here. Oh, he wanted to go for the kick. I saw him try to set up, but he noped out of it. Now he's going to get salted by the damn bat. Oh, a spinning elbow. Back standing, Evans. Needs to tie this up right here. Nasty power bomb with authority. Oh, he's setting up the spear. Can he land it? Or will Maverick catch him again? He caught him with the spear into the cover. Oh my God. Evans getting so frustrated. This is insane. Four to five. How did he kick out of the damn spear? Evans so pissed off, just annihilating him with the bat. Oh, but the kick, rocking Evans. Incredible match we have here, just under three minutes now. Maverick can extend his lead by two. One, two, three. And he does. The champion up by two now. Evans needs to absolutely dominate these next two minutes. The score is four to six in favor of the champion. And again, time is gonna be his enemy now. He needs to pull out all the stops, pin at every opportunity like this. The referee again tagging his sweet ass time. What is wrong with you? He gets a pin though, five to six. Evans, you need one more to tie it up and then dominate that last minute. Five to six. Oh no! That damn spammed move by Maverick here. Reverie way out of position. One, two, three. And he gets a pin every time. Five to seven. Five to seven here. 140 remains. Evans has time. He needs to absolutely land every move and get three to win. Can he do it? Land your damn kick, there it is! Get the pin, son! Reverie, one, two, three. Six to seven. Oh, but a drop to hold, Maverick. Oh, no! Release German suplex. Maverick playing. Look at this. Maverick taunting him, calling him a chicken. This is insane. Less than a minute remains. Back body on the apron. The hardest part of the ring there. Six to seven is the score. Pin him, Evans. 47 seconds. Pin him. He's setting it up. The kick dropped him. Pin him. To tie it up. He ties it, 30 seconds, pin him one more time, tap him out, can Evans, oh no he didn't go for it, go for the pin Evans, go for the pin, go for the pin sir, 20 seconds, oh no but Maverick reverses it, but Evans, oh no, through the ropes, Maverick, Maverick gets a three count with five seconds left. Oh no. Oh my God. We 
witness 15 minutes in an Ironman match. The final score being eight to seven in favor of the champion retaining here tonight. Here is your winner and still world Insane. champion, Shane Maverick. He was very slow to get to his feet and that battle wound on his face tells part of the story. 15 falls in 15 minutes, insane. And again, don't go anywhere. We still have the spin wheel to get to. So we still have that to get to, so don't go nowhere. But congrats to the champion here. It is about to get wilder. <laughs> Honestly, dominant run though from this champion as they head into the pay-per-view. Let me update the card with all the champions so we know if anybody's making moves, what to do. And then we'll get to the spin wheel. Spin wheel, Donnie, let me, let me show you. You're gonna learn real quick what the shenanigans is about on the spin wheel. This is the real game changer. And the best time to redeem is the last show before the pay-per-view. Yeah, everybody can do the spin wheel if they have a call uploaded. So if you're on the roster already, anybody can do the spin wheel. If you don't have a call uploaded, I, I can't do the action. So, let's get to the spin wheel here. Well, turn down the celebration of Maverick here. And focus on our wheel. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do the wheel. We got seven, we got Bunch now joining it. Jonathan Christopher is first up on the wheel. And the prize is... Suspended next show. So they're not booked the next show. So that's a respin or a refund. What do you guys think? Respin or refund, chat? Because they're not booked on the next show anyways. So the suspension is really moot. No action, respin, you got it. Jonathan Christopher, respin here. What are we getting? What are we getting? You're removed from the highest pay-per-view match. Same deal again, they're not on it. Respin. GM books you in a handicap match. So there you go, handicap match for Jonathan Christopher. Free booking, I guess. Jonathan Christopher. Three bad ones in a row. That happens, unfortunately. Yeah, we don't have a GM, but it's still enough with the technicalities. Jesus. Blake Wheeler coming up next. Yeah, it is a bad sign. Unable to compete for the tag championship this month. All right, chat, I have to defer to you on this one. Well, never mind. 
they're not at the pay-per-view, so it's a respin then, right? Because they're not competing for it. Run it for January? That's not fair. <laughs> this is a go away. We're gonna respin because they're not booked. No action can take place. Handicap match for Blake Wheeler. That's not bad. That could work in their favor too. It could be chaos for somebody. That. Not bad, not bad. Could have been worse, could have been better. Yeah, it's it's free booking-ish. And a lot of people in the handicap position win the match anyway, so it keeps the momentum up. Uh, Alyssa next up on the wheel. Chaos versus CeeLo 3. <laughs> could happen. Unable to compete for the DNA Twitch Championship. Well, Alyssa can't do that, so that's a respin for Alyssa. Book a rivalry match. Alyssa, who do you want a rivalry match with? So Alyssa gets a rivalry match. So who do you want? Who do you want? With Lana, you got it. Not a bad deal there. Again, there could be worse prizes. Thorn on the wheel. This is for Thorn. You all want the moves option. Like, you guys want to swap places. We're waiting for that. Suspended next show for Thorn. Is Thorn even booked at the pay per view? Yes, they are. Thorn was booked at the pay per view. They're now getting removed from the pay per view. They got suspended. So let me see what all they were in. They were booked against Bear Briggs in a rivalry match. So you'll be getting that next show, the following. We'll push that back. You thought you were against Garma? Garmer and Yuri Claus. Yeah, so Thorn suspended at the pay-per-view. Next spin wheel here. It's for Angel. Money in the bank for Angel. Not a bad prize. I like that one, I like that one. So money in the bank opportunity. If you have questions about how the money in the bank works, let me know if you are to win it. We'll go over that. But congratulations, Angel, that's a good opportunity. Vesa, up next on the wheel. Unable to compete with the DNA Twitch for Vesa. I don't believe they are in the DNA or Twitch matches, so it's a respin for Vesa. Bear Phillips redeemed. Yeah, we have that, Bear Phillips. I have you on the list. Pick a stipulation, Vesa. I'll do you next, Bear Phillips. You're awfully whiny today, Bear Phillips. So pick a stipulation is um, face it here to pick a stipulation for a match. Uh, the Twitch Championship doesn't have a uh, a uh, stipulation, nor does the women's tag. He said, "Ao, I mean it with love, dude. Jeez." 
Oh, everybody takes everything so personally around here. But no, Phillips, you're nice. I got you. Twitch, a ladder match. You got it. You got it, sir. <clears throat> All right. You take everything to heart because you have a big heart. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right, next up is um, Phillips and Bruno after them. So Phillips on the wheel. It might be forever, Chris. We don't know. With the way these matches have been going, it could be short. Unable to compete for the tag this month. Well, Phillips, you don't have that, so that's a respin for Phillips. Join the tag match. <laughs> I'm able to compete, now they're able to join it. So joining the tag match, Phillips, who is your tag partner even? Do you have a tag partner is the question. Ties, ties the, the champion, Phillips. Commissioner should know his roster. <laughs> He's the tag champion. Garmer. <laughs> he said, it literally happened last night. How do you forget it 24 hours? <laughs> he said, Smiles isn't busy though. What's up, car man? <laughs> Um, so who are we picking? He had so many concussions, it happens. Turn into a roast bear, Phillips. <laughs> hey, when you confidently put yourself out there in the interview like that, what do you expect? Yuri leaving chaos? So, Phillips and Yuri for the tag. All right. Next up is Bruno on the wheel. We don't talk about Bruno, though. He said just grabbing the tag titles with a friend. <laughs> Handicap match for Bruno. So, that's coming up. Oh, he said, I'm a friend? He gonna cry it out. We got a cry bear bee. <laughs> Bruno, no. All right, continued our wheel. Hazel coming up next. We got Smiles, Vincent Storm, Angelina on deck. So again, Hazel, this one's for you. Cry bear bee. <laughs> Force a champion to defend a title against you. Basically with this, you're just forcing your way into a championship match at the pay-per-view because of the circumstance. So what title do you want, Hazel? What championship match are you joining? I was gonna say, assuming the women's. So verse Hazel. See how things work in your favor? Look at this. It just works. So now Velvet defending against Selena Maverick, Eve Steele, and Hazel Phillips in an elimination match. A four-way elimination at the pay-per-view. Smiles is next on the wheel. Removed from the highest pay-per-view match. Is Smiles even booked at the pay-per-view? I don't think they are. They are not. So that is a re-spin. Yeah, will Selena be medically cleared? That's a great question. Look at the attire. Oh, he chill. 
join the NAW Contender Match, the next show for Smiles. So that's not bad. So Smiles joining the list of NAW Contenders, not bad. That's a decent one. It's like a, a free 2,000 cred redemption. -ish. Vincent Storm. So what's Vincent Storm getting? Vincent Storm gets to remove someone from a pay-per-view match. Here's where the fun begins. Vincent Storm, who are we removing? And it's not a swap, it's just a remove. He said, um... <laughs> what match do you want to know about? Who's in the DNA? The champion, Mark Caliber, obviously. Swish, Matt Williams, and Icon. So Swish, Matt Williams, Icon in the DNA. In the Gnaw, for the men, Anthony Ty and Trevor Santos. Also gotta get to the ads too for, for who added people in the matches. Oh no, Icon getting removed. Icon has been iconed. He is out of the DNA championship. You're gonna piss off the icon. We also have the joining of matches, too. Remember, Emma redeemed for Bear Phillips to join the DNA. So Bear Phillips is also in that DNA match. I apologize, I did not mention that. And then Rated is in the NAW one as well. I forgot to mention that as well. Emma redeemed for them. So keep that in mind. Continuing on our spin wheel. We just have two spins left. Angelina and Thorne again on it. So this one's for Angelina. Book a rivalry match for Angelina. So Angelina versus who? questions here. It sparks a star on the roster. Angelina versus Velvet. You got it. So the rematch. The rivalry show. Thorne coming up next. You wouldn't feel right about it. Dude, you're the champion. I would be removing everybody from that match. The less people, the better opportunity you have. That's just my opinion. Thorne, this one's for you. Join the tag contender match, Thorne. Who is your tag partner, Thorne? So this again is a tag contender match, not a championship. So Thorn and who? No, oh, these are tough. Thorn and the Loch Ness Monster. Thorn and Smiles. It's a random pairing.
I mean, remove Shane so we can crown an interim champ. I mean, he could have done that. So, Thorn, who's your who's your answer here? Is Ty okay with that? So Thorn and Smiles, Thorny Smiles. All right. Amber Sparks is next. Amber Sparks, who's getting it? Amber Sparks is suspended next show. She's not booked next show. <laughs> Spin again. Amber Sparks. Join the non-contender match. So Sparks joining it and getting right back in the title contention. All right, not a bad one. Not bad for Smiles, not bad for, for Sparks. Hunter Owens is next on the wheel. Hunter Owens, yeah, it is a welcome back gift. All right, Hunter Owens, Hunter Owens. Unable to compete for the DNA Twitch. I don't think they're in that. So spin again for Hunter Owens. Your odds keep going down. <laughs> it's a contender though. It's a contender, Velvet. Handicap match for Hunter. You got it. A lot of handicaps. And Mark on the spin wheel. Mark Bennett. We are going to have a ton of handicaps. Unless I combine them all into one handicap. Join the DNA or Twitch Championship at the pay-per-view for Mark Bennett. What are you picking? Since Thorne is suspended, can he find a replacement? Joining the DNA. Yeah, who does um who should we face against Briggs at the pay-per-view then? Who do you, who do you have in, in mind? Jacob Evans on the wheel. Briggs and Evans? It's not a bad idea. So this is for Evans, the wheel. Swap places with someone at the pay-per-view for Evans. Oh, boy. Oh, my. This is the move. Was it supposed to be career versus mask? It, it was. But that got screwed up. So we'll have to push that back to the next show, the first show of the year. So Evans, Anthony getting swapped out at the NAW Championship match. Jacob Evans going to get another shot at Shane Maverick. I love to see it. Honestly happy with that. Because he put on a war tonight. He deserves this opportunity again. One more chance, in my opinion, against Maverick. That's a big deal. If he swaps Shane. So the championship match is now Shane Maverick, Jacob Evans, Ty, Trevor Santos, and Rated. No more title match. <laughs> well, that's it for the spin wheel entries. Unless anyone else has a request they want to submit. It's Christmas, Thorn should be in the match. You guys, what do you think? Should we still book the rivalry match? Mask and career? At the Christmas pay-per-view or the final pay-per-view? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck the wheel. Thorn and Bear Briggs, you're getting your damn match. Merry fucking Christmas. So Bear Briggs. And Thorn getting a throw down at the pay-per-view. I 
I like to see it. Well, that's it, you guys. This has been the 12 matches of Christmas. And honestly, I love hearing that as the concluding moment here for the show. You do have opportunities to redeem before the show. Just not the spin wheel, obviously. This was the last chance to do that. But if you want to redeem for matches to be booked on our show, you can redeem anytime you want, even when we're not live. Come to the channel, come to the chat. You can redeem. You can redeem during DC streams. You can redeem anytime. And again, we've been working on other ideas for more streams and ideas to expand the channel. We just got to figure out time, which is mine and DC's worst enemy. But Bear Phillips wants to bring Trivia Night to the channel. And we might even do a trial run of it in the Discord chat rooms and then find a way to bring it to the live streams as well. Again, time management, we're figuring the details out on that. But we're trying to aim for next week, Friday, for Trivia Night with DC and Phillips right now. So be on the lookout for concrete information on that. But most importantly, Conair has a new partner. That's not most important, but that's important. But most importantly, happy Merry Christmas, happy holidays, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Cheers to you. Be safe out there. Spend some time with the ones you care about. I appreciate you spending time with me here and each other in our chats. Um, couldn't ask for a better gift. So thank you all for continuing to support NAW. I look forward to seeing you all next week for the pay-per-view. And uh, again, until then, maybe see pop-up streams? I don't know what's going on. But thank you all so much. Genuinely, you're the best. We'll see you on the next one. And again, happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas. And to all, a good night. <laughs>